Hi, long time no see. We have now moved into our new house, which is not where we are right now, we're at work. And uh, finally things have settled down and we've adjusted to the new lifestyle. And I will tell you finally now the reason why everything is so different now is because my husband is now jobless. <laughs> my, my husband is now jobless. Uh, yeah, you quit your job. Congratulations, <laughs> I guess. It wasn't a bad job, actually. I think it was quite a good job. It was great. Yeah, it was a really good job. But um, we've been thinking about this. How many years have we considered you leaving your job now? Six, seven years. Six, seven years, yeah. His reasons and I think my reasons are different. My reasons from my perspective as like a family person was, um, first of all, he didn't like it <laughs> that much. And... I mean, everyone hates their job. Let's not be like, of course everyone hates their job, but I quite really extremely did not like his job that much. So, but for me, the biggest things was how much time he was spending at work, always going like super early, like basically couldn't see the kids in the morning and then coming home super late. So can't see the kids at night. And then he was always so stressed from work that even on the weekend spending time together, I felt like you were not there. Like from my perspective, so to me, growing up with my dad always around in our lives and my mom always around in my life, like that was so important to me, and I just thought that that was not like a good lifestyle for for a family, and I I felt I could see our kids were very stressed, and I was having a hard time also handling everything on my own because I'm also working and stuff too, and and I'm the main person with the kids, and that was the main reason for me. But yeah, he's been considering quitting his job for a while now. So can you tell me a bit about what kind of job you had? Um, I was uh, just a normal salary man. Yeah, coffee's worker. He was working for uh, the hotel. So actually, you might have seen we go to like fancy hotels a lot. That was why. <laughs> it's because he had like really good benefit about the hotel stay, which I'm going to miss so much. <laughs> Oh, now we can try another hotel. <laughs> yeah, but of course I'm gonna miss. Yeah, it was a good perk. It was a pretty good perk. So we we very spontaneously did like, um, what is it called again? Stayovers. Staycation. <laughs> Sorry, we very often did like staycations or went on like very sh like spontaneous short trips a lot because of that. We still will because I love traveling, but it's gonna be a bit different now. Um, did, what did you think about your job? <laughs> I think it was great. Like I started at the right time, mm -hmm. like before I graduated my university, mm -hmm. and it's been like full nine years and like tenth year I quit. Yeah, and it benefited it a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, my like working condition and everything was really good. And luckily, like yeah, the we got like tons of help from my ex company <laughs> and. <laughs> Because we tried hard and we made it everything stabilized, yeah. so that's why in the end we could make a like kind of like selfish, selfish decision. Selfish decision. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because I don't need to put tons of time anymore over like family time and stuff. So right, it was really hard to make the decision because. For people who are not Korean, you might not know how the Korean job finding system works, but it's horrible. So he got a job, I forget what the position is called, but when you get into a company through like a very hard process of like taking company tests and getting like five interviews and like he, I remember when he was job finding, he was like applied like over like a hundred companies or something ridiculous. Only like 20, 30 companies. Only 20, 30, but I felt like it was a lot. And like he, it wasn't just like simply sending an application, but he had to do like a test for each one. And he had to pass the test and then he'd have to go through like two to three interviews yeah. and it was like just like constantly like reject 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 and like just because i'm gonna be easier for me to boost him up than him himself like he's a really top student who has always had like the best grade so i always thought like he's gonna get a job super easily he went to a good school too but the reality was like he couldn't get in anywhere like in the end he got two two job offers but it was brutal like watching him go through that was really brutal so quitting your job in korea is not like north america where you just kind of like quit your job and you could find a new job quitting a good job in korea is like you quit your job and it's like the end <laughs> i don't want to say the like, end but it's very hard to get a job for in the korea older generation they think like 
they like reject the lottery winning or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you like, got yeah. that small chance, a unique <laughs> chance, and you're gonna quit, and that's ridiculous. But yeah, yeah we worked hard to quit together, and we could make this decision. But do you want to explain like why you gave up such a good like job after such a hard time getting it? Um, it wasn't a easy decision. It took like nine, ten years for me. Mm -hmm. He was really struggling. Like you guys never saw it. But he was really struggling. Mostly, it's typical like maybe Korean knows like typical Takeo, which is like bigger size, bigger group company, and paperwork, office work. Which means it has like lots of like reporting and lots of processes. Hierarchy. Yeah. Extreme hierarchy. hierarchy. <laughs> so it's not about like actually I'm making making a actual performance or profit, but about like sometimes making excuses and sometimes like unnecessary things because this higher person or this executive was curious about a certain issue, mm -hmm. so I have to make a report. It's mm -hmm. not like I know that it's not benefiting our company's performance or anything at all, but because somebody was curious about like something happened, why something happened, when like these kind of things takes like a week or two weeks. Yeah. So those kind of like um, consuming energy taking works is really not working with me. Like I know in the end like for like of. for like long term goal because big companies like good system and structure mm -hmm. so all those small things are linked and in the end it makes company better but like as a worker it was quite um, draining crushing <laughs> soul crushing I, I get it but like, I know Jay obviously really well and Jay is not lazy actually that's why I like him I only date smart hardworking people so it's kind of weird that I'm like just like chill with you quitting your job but it's because I know that I can trust him not to be like on the couch like doing nothing every day or something like this. He's not that type of person. So, but the job from my perspective, like basically in Korea, like you have to report through like twenty thousand people to do like any small thing because of the hierarchy structure. Like you cannot just there's no authority, anonymity. Like when you do your work, you have no freedom to make decisions. Like every small thing goes through this like huge chain of command and Jay's company especially was super old-fashioned about those type of things yeah. and like not so, all the companies in Korea anymore but yeah still. yeah but yours was <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> yours is like the symbol <clears throat> sorry of like old-fashioned I feel like so every time he had to do something it was like they always gave him tasks which were kind of meaningless and he'd spend like tons of time on them like doing overtime and he cannot take things like not seriously like some people go to work and they're like oh this is like bullshit but I'm just gonna like do it like whatever I don't care like Jake can unfortunately Jake cannot do that like when you give him something he has to do it perfectly and so he always like spend like stress in tons of time doing something and then he'd give it to them and then they wouldn't even like use it or it'd be like completely useless <laughs> or they give it back to him to change like the most unimportant things ever and like he would always like not eat lunch because he'd be working so hard on these things and like I think from my perspective because the work he was doing was so kind of meaningless in life, like it crushed him. It is him. meaningful. It is meaningful at some point. No, <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was like I mean, it was meaningful, but you know what I mean. Like, like there was not like a clear like you could not see the clear thing that you were doing, like the benefit yeah, 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 yeah. or like what happened from all the effort you put into those things. Yeah, yeah. But I know, like company. It's not like one person's like star player makes any like big difference it's about whole structure yeah and every part works like this part this part and it makes bigger structure and goes like like a big gear yeah you know but um i also like moreover like i want to talk about like family things because yeah. <laughs> i use like paternity leaves two twice yeah. so i know that like how important it is how valuable it is than like any other like crazy money i can get Mm -hmm. Like even though my salary can like boost up like this amount, like I know that it's worth more to have time with my family more. Mm -hmm. And thanks to my company, I've been like working like last nine ten years, and we kind of made everything stable. And we used that paternity leave time together and like opened up our business, and now everything is stable. So we became like confident to like, okay, yeah, 
maybe we're gonna make like slightly less money than current double income. But slightly less. <laughs> <laughs> well, my income was like that, that, that But I wasn't working, so I mean, if we were really oh, yeah. making double income, then it's gonna be like yeah, 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 yeah. like less, like the yeah. short <laughs> moment, like six months or seven months, we worked together. Money-wise, we were like, whoa. Yeah, it was very comfortable. But you were collapsing, you know. Yeah, it was very yeah. hard for me to run this this business by myself, and then also the kids were like super miserable. They were having such a hard time at school and at home, and like. Especially Hayden, you could see he was really struggling because I had to pick him up really late and drop him to school fairly early. And then um, at the time, we were living far away from our workplace too, so the commute was really brutal for them. Oh, that was the other thing for Jay too. Like, Jay's commute. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Do you want to talk about your commute? <laughs> it takes like 50 minutes. 50. Without any hinders. Hindrance. Hindrance. But it's like, the for anyone who doesn't live in a big city, but especially Seoul, like he had to go to work during rush hour and the train we go to work to Seoul in from our house, our old house, was like packed. So every day he'd have to miss like two trains, he'd have to miss a bus because the bus was packed and then he'd get on the bus and he'd be like, like smooshed together. I had to do it too, it's brutal. You're like basically miserable from the moment you start your day. <laughs> you get crushed in between everyone on the bus and then you get off and you have to miss like two trains because there's too many people waiting. And then you finally get on the train and you get crushed. And then you're being crushed on the train until you get off. And then you have to walk amongst the like ants of people to the next train and then you get crushed and then you arrive to work. And I want to go back home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then you're already miserable. And then when you leave work, it's the same. They crushed, 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 home, exhausted, like, and also a little bit far away, so like, really late, and just like, to me, I was watching him, and I was like, this is not life. Like, no amount of money, I can say that from a point of stability, because I, luckily, I can make enough money that we're okay, but like, from my perspective, like, that was not life. Yeah. You can't live you're that from way. from Canada, but <laughs> we should make it clear that like, lots of people, most of the people in Korea, have the typical salary man like like um, I did. I'm sorry. And that's like even like I had like lots of times. If I compare it to like typical nine to six hours, like like when I'm coming back early, it was like seven, you know? Yeah. So maybe my perspective uh, is we, a little bit too. We, but we worked hard together. We worked super hard. Like we were really frugal. It might not seem like it in our videos because we only film when we're doing something special. We never film our normal lives pretty much. So like we were really frugal with our money and we were really careful and we saved like tons of money. That's why we could open this business Not and tons of money. We like, saved good money. Yeah, good money. No, Enough no, money like, to like think about our future together, you know? Considering how much money we were making, we saved a good portion of our money. Okay. We did okay. He can literally live off of ramen. Like that's his like if he, if he didn't meet me, he would just eat ramen every day and probably save all of his money. But is that life? I might have like bought a building by Is now. that life? <laughs> that's not life. Yeah, that's, you why, that's why I decided to quit. You know? uh, anyways, but yeah, we decided to do the business together and Jay is now helping out with the kids and he's studying. Um, and probably within the next two years planning to change his career path. I'm losing my voice in another way, but that was the kind of big change that we went through. Mm -hmm. And and it was quite scary for me to also be like, you can do it, but I wanted to do that because you guys might not know this either, but when I was a student, we were living together and Jay finished his, his undergrad and he got a job first and I went on to do my master's and Jay supported me a lot when I was doing my master's. You know, he was my like, not, I'm not sugar daddy, but you were kind of my sugar daddy. <laughs> like you were making things stable so I could focus on my studies. So now I want to do the same for him. That's like, what family is, what couple is. Yeah, so right now luckily like things are going well enough that I'm able to support him so that he can like work on himself and think about like what he wants to do selfishly and like change his career path or study or do something. So I feel really lucky that I could do the same for him that he did for me and and yeah. So I'm very excited about like where our life is gonna go now because yeah, we're really just like following. It sounds so cheesy. Following our hearts. No, let's be just reality. <laughs> like if someone say like if I really wanna answer somebody asking like why do you quit like if we want to be a little bit cockier just reality how could i say like my point is like okay we got everything we have a house to leave we have a car we have no debt and in the end there's no time 
Yeah. Only time. So that was the decision. Oh, that's a big thing for me personally. Like, of course, money is important. Of course, money is important. But time to me is really important too. So to me, his job just took up too much of his time. <laughs> like, yeah. So we're prioritizing right now time and family time, especially, and also building ourselves personally right now over money. But of course, like as kids get older and they want to do more things, like, um, I want to do basketball or I want to do ballet or I want to do something. Like, we're gonna need money again. So. We're taking kind of like at least a good year or two, like to recalculate things and figure out where we're going from from there. And um, and yeah, I'm excited because because it's fun sometimes in life to like not know where life is going. I think that really strongly. Mm. Life is really like life should be a little bit challenging and unknown and exciting. It can't always be like predictable. I think it's yeah, good. just a simple fact that we exactly can predict tomorrow is. Quite it can be crushing, yeah. So we need a little bit of spice <laughs> in our life. So that's that's what's going on now. And the kids are already so much happier to have Jay around. Like, oh, Hayden was having a lot of problems at school with his behavior and stuff, and like all gone. He's like the happiest kid ever. Like he just loves his life. Everything's just gotten so much better since we made this decision to both move and for Jay to quit his job. And we've been really busy too. It's not like we've just been like. Hanging out all the time it's or like something. Our family need a like really like particular spec specified position that can yeah. be a dad plus can work for our business place yeah. plus who can speak a little bit of English plus yeah. who can drive and who can move our kids <laughs> here and there plus who can communicate with our family plus yeah. babysitter plus worker plus part timer plus. So yeah. I think I was the only person who could do that. Yeah, exactly. And this plan was really thought out. Like we have an Excel sheet <laughs> called like the J Freedom Plan or something like this. J Escape, Escape Plan. Escape plan. <laughs> we were like calculating like all the Excel about like monthly things and the loan we used to have which we no longer have and we came up with like tons of different scenarios and like in the end like it just worked out. So all we have to do now is work hard. So we're gonna work hard and we have a little bit more time now together because we have the same days off, Monday and Sunday, so Hopefully we can get up to some sort of like fun things together and have some more interesting videos and stuff to share with my family back home and you guys and also more fun for us as well. But mostly, yeah, we just have more time together as a family and I'm very happy. I am too. Yeah, like, I'm very happy. Do you remember one time I was just driving and watching the full moon and like life is so like full of happiness and yeah. like I'm like so enjoying my life, you know? He was actually quite depressed. Like, of course, you guys don't see that on camera, but maybe you did actually, because you guys are always commenting like, "Why does he look so miserable and stuff?" Like, because I keep thinking and keep worrying about the task at the work. Next day. And stuff. Like, I think all the seller man has the same life and routine because that's how people yeah. be responsible about their work. You know? Can I be a little bit honest there? Yeah, uh, like he's he got so down sometimes that he couldn't even get himself up to go to work. Like he would just be like KO'd kind of like for like zombie. a few days, like just laying down, like not talking to me, not talking to the family, like just lock himself in like the dark dungeon of despair and like once again like when I saw that like I realized that it's not it's not worth it. Because it's, it's like really it. hard to balance out like I'm failing at like raising kids working properly because babies are sick I have to come back suddenly and like, I have to go to work oh yeah that's the other thing so too. hard to balance up so. you guys some of you guys know Hayden gets sick quite often he's quite weak he has really weak bronchial cords so that was also really hard for us because we were both trying to work and do you know leave life and, and have a family but then Hayden would suddenly be sick and have to be hospitalized and stuff like this quite frequently and then we'd have to always like cancel all of our classes and stuff and like he would have to leave work or it was really stressful like we don't blame Hayden of course but it was really hard to balance that too so but he's gotten much healthier too yeah he's gotten much better we're hoping actually we'll have to see how it goes that we can go on one trip together with we're Jay's Tejikun 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 so when we go there we'll definitely take you guys with us as well <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> uh, anyways, we're gonna go meet up with uh, Jay's grandma. Today is our Saturday working day, so Jay's grandma helps watch the kids a little bit in the morning. So we're gonna meet up with her, save her, 
<laughs> save her from her children. Hayley <laughs> is like wild these days. Um, and probably grab dinner together or coffee together or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's go meet up with Jay's mom and see Hayden Hayna. Hello. 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 How are you? Good morning. Did you have a good sleep? Yes. Hayden, did you have a good sleep, Hannah? No. <laughs> yes, you did. No. Okay, mommy's going to ask you some questions. Do you want daddy to go back to his old work? No. Hayden, Hayden. Go back to his old work? Yeah. Do you like daddy old work or new work? Mm. New work? Why? Mm. Hey. Uh huh. Come fast. Ah, because daddy can come fast. <laughs> Do you like daddy? Mm. Oh. Do you like being at daycare long time or short time? Oh, hey now, do you like to be at daycare a long time or short time? Short time. Who picks you up from daycare? Dad, dad and mommy. <laughs> hey now. Oh, no, he's going to school yet. Oh, no school today. Woo! <laughs> Today's family day. We're going to go play somewhere. Jumping park? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, I'm going to think about it. Do you really want to go jumping park that much? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is a school. Do you want to go to school? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bus is going to school. Okay, I'm going now. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Why now? I have nothing to ask. You said you like dad's old job, but you don't want daddy to work at his old job because you want him to come fast. If daddy goes back to old job, he's going to come slow. What is it? That's a playground. A playground. Oh, oh, Hayden, one more question. What do you think about our new house? Good. Good. Hannah, do you like our new house? That's a suitcase. <laughs> do you like our new house? Do you like our new house? You squishy little hamster. Why are you never answer me? <laughs> That's um walking. They're walking. Going for a walk. Okay. Bye-bye.